Hi friends, good morning. Let us see the next problem. See, x square is equal to 5476 and y cube is equal to 405, 224. See, x square is equal to 5476 means x is equal to plus or minus, plus or minus. See, to find the square root, to find the square root, draw a line two digits after from the right end. Then what is the perfect square just below 54? 49. That is the square of 7. 7. And here the digit is 6. Unit digit is 6 means here it must be either 4 or 6. 4 4 is 16. 6 6 is 36. So to get 6, to get 6 here. The digit must be either 4 or 6. How to decide that 7 8s are 56. You have to multiply this 7 with the next immediate higher number. 7 8s are 56. Here 54 is less than 56. So you have to take 4. Now you got the value of x. x is equal to plus or minus 74. Let us find the value of y. Here to find the cube root, draw a line after three digits from the right hand. Now, what is the perfect cube? What is the perfect cube? Just below 405. What is the perfect cube? Just below 405. 7 cube. 7 cube is equal to 343. 8 cube is equal to 512. So, 343. 7 cube. So, y is equal to, y is equal to 7. First digit is 7. Second digit. If the digit in the unit place is 4, the digit in the unit place is 4, the cube root must be 4, the cube root must be 4. So, the digit in the 4 cube only 64. You don't find 4 anywhere. You don't find 4 anywhere. If the digit in the unit place is 4 means, if the digit in the unit place is 4 means, it must be 4 cube. It must be 4 cube. So, y is equal to 74. So, now x is equal to plus 74 minus 74 y is equal to 74. Now let us compare the values. 74 is equal to 74. Minus 74 is less than 74. So final answer less than or equal to x is equal to less than or equal to y. x is equal to less than or equal to y. Okay friend. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hi friends. Good morning. Let us see our next problem. See, 5x plus 4y is equal to 8, 3x plus 2y is equal to minus 4. See friends, 5x plus 4y minus 8 is equal to 0, 3x plus 2y minus 4 is equal to 0. First you have to write the coefficients. See, 5, 4, minus 8, again you have to write 5. And for this equation, 3, 2, minus 4 again you have to write 3 so after writing the coefficients first you have to check up this into this minus this into this is equal to positive or negative 5 into 2 10 minus 3 into 4 12 10 minus 12 minus 2 that is minus this into this minus this into this is equal to minus then x is equal to the value of x we have to decide like this. This into this minus this into this. Minus 8 into 2 minus 4 into minus 4. This is equal to minus 16 plus 16. That is equal to 0. And coming to y value. This into this. This into this. Minus this into this. 5 into minus 4. Minus. Minus 8 into 3 minus 20 plus 24 that is equal to 4 x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4 friends i tell you one thing what is this these are not the exact values of x and y these are not the exact values of x and y it is something else so don't substitute these x is equal to 0 and y is equal, y is equal to 4 these values do not satisfy these equations these are not the exact values of x and y. Only for the purpose of establishing the relation, we are considering these values. 
So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 4, then the relation is x less than y. So that is important thing you have to keep it in mind. These are not the exact values of x and y. These values do not satisfy the above two equations. The values are something else. But the purpose of establishing the relation between x and y, we can consider x value like this and y value like this. Okay, but it's x less than y. I have one more thing also I tell you. If x this into this minus this into this is positive, this into this minus this into this is positive, then we have to do like this. This into this minus this into this x value. This into this minus this into this is equal to y value. So already two problems were discussed in our previous videos. Please watch those two videos. Okay friends, thank you. Have a nice day. Hi friends, good morning. Let us take the next problem. x square minus 52x plus 667 is equal to 0. y square minus 60y plus 899 is equal to 0. Friends, the next highest, per next perfect square. The next perfect square after 667 is 676. 676 is the square root of 26 into 26. 26 into 26. But uh, here it is not uh, 667. Here it is not uh, 667. So you have to reduce one thing and you have to increase one thing. See that, uh, see that the product must be 7, unit is it 7 and the sum must be 52. So, if you do so, 23 into 29, 23 into 29 uh, comes up to, comes up to 667 and 23 plus 29 is equal to 52. So, now, now, the values are 23 comma 29. The values are 23 comma 29. Here B minus A and C are plus. Both the roots are positive. And let us come here. So 899. The next immediate higher highest perfect square. After 899, the next highest perfect square is 900. That is 30 square. So 30 into 30. 30 into 30. Now you have to reduce 30 and increase 30 to get the product 899 and sum 60. So 29 into 31. 29 into 31. 29 plus 31. 30 into 30 900. But it is here only 899. So the next uh, below number 29, the next higher number 31. 29 plus 31 uh, 60. 29 into 31, 899. So now the y values are 29, 31. x is equal to 23, 29. y is equal to 29, 31. Now let us compare x values and y values. 23 less than both these two values. And 29, 29 is less than 31, equal to 29. So the final relation is x less than or equal to y x less than or equal to y okay friends thank you have a nice day